The best part of when we teach any of our classes is seeing the variety of designs. It continually energizes me and I get so excited that you get a bunch of people and none of the designs look alike. You have some cross-pollination of ideas, but looking at the 100 plus CAD models, it's pretty thrilling to see the variety. This was a one unit workshop sponsored by Making at Stanford. This is the first time we've taught it and it was a workshop to each make one silver pendant. Something about a pendant to me is very outwardly focused. You as the wearer don't even really see it that often. I kind of wanted to swap that a little bit and make it more inward focused so I wanted something heavy that I would kind of feel on me. After our students had a CAD model, the first thing that happened is it got 3D printed. It starts with a bath of liquid that then gets built in layers and kind of cured to create this 3D thermoplastic. The first hands-on experience they had was to cut all of the support structure off and prep their waxes, remove any residue from the build process. We did five castings to accommodate the 100 plus parts. After that, they then had a lab where they learned how to clean up their part because once you've cast a part, it really looks like something you found on the bottom of the ocean and it takes quite a bit of work with hand tools to turn that into something that looks like fine jewelry. You see the benefits of the silver and it goes from this crusty, oxidized hunk of metal into something that at a high polish is pretty astounding. The finishing lab, just the general foundry space, is very overstimulating in the best way possible. It's loud, there's a bunch of people you're squeezing in, but in that way it creates such a nice community because there's a shared struggle in getting your pieces to be as beautiful as possible. For many people, this is their first time working with hand tools. Jeweler saw, bench pin, a variety of different shapes and styles of files, a lot of sandpaper. There's a bigger class, it's a three unit class. I've always wanted to take that one, but it just never worked out for my schedule. So when I found out there is like a one unit version and where I get to make my own necklace and wear it around, I jumped at this opportunity to take it. I think the hours of work that you put into making a pennant really makes it something that's priceless. It's almost like self-care when you're sitting, sanding something down for five hours. And then they assembled their parts with chains and we took photographs and we had a party. I was just so impressed by the broad array of projects that people came up with and how meaningful they are to everyone. As Making at Stanford is reaching out and trying to bring people in who haven't made anything on campus yet, hopefully our class will stand as an example of one of the many things that's possible if the students want to make something.